Yeah, I flip, she's gusting a little bit for a single fella on his first turn. Yeah, we'll give it a nudge. What could possibly go wrong? I've just lost a shackle coming out of the main seat. Yes, there it is. I'll head back ashore and get that sorted. In our last episode, we went to Wanaka and tried out an RS Quest and we liked it, so we bought one. Our mate Dylan helped get it off the truck, we drove it home and put it together. Kia ora. so today's the day, we're going to head over and give this RS Quest its first run. So Sarah's going to stay home, she's a bit blustery, a bit rough and yeah, just want to make sure that everything's right before we throw Sarah in and give her a serious fright. So come along, we'll see if the lake's open because there's a whole lot of rowing on down there and they often close the lake to anybody else. So we'll go down, see if it's open and see if we can go for sale. <laughs> Log <-wise. laughs> Lake closed to power driven vessels. Well, that's not us, is it? We're much faster than that. Yeah, flip, she's gusting a little bit. Oh well, we're good to go, I think. Gotta say I'm feeling a little bit undergunned out here on my own, but um, hey, nothing bent is nothing gained, right? Oh well, so far so good. Just she just her okay. Let's see what else she's got to throw at us. But... Brig's looking good. Out and right out. Oh, here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. First stuff up of the day, I've just lost the shackle pin out of the main sheet. As you can see there, can you hope this in the boat? Oh, yep, found it. Sweet. There it is. Found us. We'll head back ashore and get that sorted and come back out again, I think. Right, I think we're good to go. Well, apart from that one monumental stuff up of not tightening up a certain shackle properly. Everything else seems to be performing pretty well. So pretty heavy, I'm going to keep it pretty well under control with just one of us. Uh, probably doing about 15 knots in here. Whoops, most of it's wrong. And yeah, pretty heavy. Thanks Hayden and then there's Hellcraft, you beast. <laughs> Even though it's really gusty and real shifty as well, just sort of a narrow lake surrounded in mountains. She's pretty well balanced and I mean, pretty stable. It's, it's easy to sail. When the gust drops, you get a little, little bit of apparent wind change because you're beating along at a bit of pace. And yeah, I'm really happy. Can't wait to get Sarah out and go for a bit of a flat on Benmore. Righty, eh? Wind's coming up. Sun's about to go down. I think it's probably time to head back to the truck. Just gonna roll in gently under. 
just the mainsail. There's no point making it busier than it needs to be. <laughs> a beautiful evening for sailing. Yay! Beautiful. It's been a long wait getting the boat and then just there's a fair bit of work getting it organised but man the first time you take it out all of it seems worthwhile. So it was a good day, it wasn't too windy. The Roman regatta seemed to be done for the day, so there's plenty of room on the water for everyone. And getting the boat up and in and out wasn't too bad, even on my own. So yeah, looking forward to some more trips. Next time, we're going to load up the boat, head down to Benmore and go camping. Let's see what happens though, because it could be a bit calm or a bit windy.